Well, you may have seen them in an ad and then taken a double take. A new running shoe that's supposed to make it feel as if you're running barefoot. But is this new fad in running shoes really good for your feet? Local 10 Sasha Andrade is live on Key Biscayne with more on these unique looking shoes. And they kind of feel a little strange too. Do they have no cushion though, it looks like, Sasha. What are they like? Yeah, they're... There, there isn't any cushion. There's no question if you're a runner, you've heard of these shoes. And if you're not a runner, you've probably seen them because of this strange shape. But they're a huge fad. Take a look. I just pulled this runner over here on Key Biscayne and look what he has on his feet. Do you like them? I do like them. They're very, they're very comfortable. Post-race, they feel great. And they're very light. All right, he likes them. But we wanted to find out from the real sources, from the doctors. So take a look at what we found out. Barefoot running shoes. Even their nickname is a contradiction. So were they good for you? It makes you run correctly. Or not? From training shoes to barefoot shoes, the injury rates go up very, very high. Bruce Wilk is a running coach and physical therapist. Yeah, you go. You feel the heel. He says the web shoe offers almost no support. The shoe should be protecting you, not adding to the injury. So why is this the craze amongst marathon runners and pros? They help you develop all the little muscles and tendons and ligaments in your feet. Dr. Yanira Salas is a podiatrist with Memorial West. She has a somewhat neutral stance. For certain population of patients, they're good. Is not for everybody. She says if you're an experienced runner with a normal foot, these shoes can actually help strengthen your feet and balance your body. However, if you have a high arch or a flat foot, Dr. Salas says beware. I've seen stress fractures. Wilk, Salas, and even the runners we spoke with agree these shoes should only supplement traditional pairs and should be used primarily for shorter distances. Because they're so flat and they don't have enough cushion. Still torn? Use your body as a gauge. If you have persistent pain, constant pain, obviously you shouldn't continue. Dr. Sala says if you decide to go the route of the web running shoe, it's very important that you that you supplement, you use these one day and then take a look. You use the regular shoes that these ladies have on uh, the other day. So every other day at least until you get used to the web running shoe. Back to you. That's a good rule of thumb or rule of toe, if you will. You know, I've, I've seen guys uh, with these at the gym, and I kind of laugh, but, you know, they look kind of funny. But, but are they hard on joints? You'd think they would be. Well, you know, actually what the doctor says is you tend to run on the ball of your foot right here when you use these. It sort of forces you to run on the ball of the foot. So she says it actually doesn't hurt your joints anymore because you're landing a little softer on the feet. But these are my husband's. And they're definitely scary looking, so I don't let him use these around me, but he absolutely loves them. So even in our house, we have a lot of debates. All right. They're very interesting looking, that's for sure. They make a statement. <laughs> yes. Shoes that look like feet. Sasha, right. thanks. <laughs>